it's time for us to start working on the back deck. Hey everybody, this is Bill with Live Simple Live Free. And there's so many things to do here, it's hard to know which one to do next. But uh, the back deck, the footers have to be inspected before we pour the concrete. And Barry's been working on some electrical inside. And we're having the inspector come out to check some of his electrical work. So we want to get the footers dug so that when the inspector comes out, he can also inspect the footers. So we're good to go with that. Now the deck is going to be 10 by 16. So it's going to go from this side of this door down past the other side of the French door, 16 feet. And then it'll come out 10 feet, which is to that point. But you see this right here. The posts are going to only be 8 feet and then the uh, deck will cantilever out two, past be two feet beyond that. So I'll be digging three holes for the, for the posts right there, there, and there, eight feet out from the wall. And they have to be, we have to pour a concrete pad two feet by two feet and two feet down. Now this post right here is, is right where the post goes. So this is the center of the hole. The problem is, as soon as you start to dig with the backhoe, that disappears and then you don't know where you're at. So I marked the hole with some inverted marking paint. You can use any paint, but this is designed to go straight down. Like that. Isn't that cool? So that's where my hole is going to be. And I mark it out past the corners so when I start to dig the hole I can still see where the edge of the uh, deck or of the hole should be. I've got all three holes for the footers dug, two feet deep, and the inspector is scheduled to come out tomorrow. He's going to take a look at Barry's wiring and at these uh, footer holes so we can pour the, the footers for the decks, for the deck. So the inspector was here this morning and he passed all the electrical work in the wall and the insulation. So now we can hang the sheetrock in there, on there and get uh, busy with, yep, more spackling. <laughs> Barry also has these uh, lights installed now. They still have to be installed up into the ceiling, but at least it's no longer dark in this room. It's much better working in here. And the wiring here in the master bedroom has also been inspected and approved. So now we can sheetrock this and get that going too. This is the new master bath. And he also uh, approved the holes that I dug for the footer, for the deck, sort of. We had a problem here. We gotta do three more. 
The problem is the house is cantilevered. The house itself hangs four inches past the foundation wall and he said you cannot attach a deck to a cantilevered wall. We didn't know this. So he said we have to build the deck freestanding. So we're going to have to build a, put in three more posts up near the house so that it'll have three posts on each side. The deck will be completely freestanding but then still attached to the to the wall just for stability. So Barry is here digging three more holes. The inspector did say, you know, Barry said, do, you, do we need to have inspected again? The inspector said, no, you, I see what you've done here with the three. Just take a picture when you dig three more and show that to me next time. So that was cool. So as soon as Barry finishes digging that, we're going to be pouring the concrete footers, six of them, for the deck. So I thought I was going to be helping Barry with pouring this and I was elsewhere engaged for a while and I come back and he's got four of them finished and two more to go, one there and one there for the decks. So it's looking real good. I'm a trained professional. A trained professional. So I don't have to work out in that hot sun, that makes me happy. <laughs> I gotta get to do drywall, that makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> so I gotta get back to uh finishing the drywall. So this is inside the master bathroom, and we've completely redesigned the entire thing, moved stuff around. So we had to get the wiring moved, get the switches moved, and the lights. So Barry has now done that, and then we had the inspector in here and he approved all the electrical. So now I can start putting up the sheetrock. So I wasn't here yesterday. I had some other things that I had to do. And I get back and I find that Barry has finished all of the deck uh, piers and got it all backfilled. So we got three there and then we got three up near the house. It's all smooth so we can work here easily without tripping all over everything. So this is looking good.
Okay, so now I have finished hanging the sheetrock for the new doors for the master bathroom and the master walk-in closet. So now I can start spackling, always spackling. <laughs> So I think this great room is shaping up. It's looking good. Now tomorrow morning, me and Elizabeth and Molly are flying to Salt Lake for our annual Thrive Life Convention. So we're really excited about that. Uh, we're leaving on a Wednesday and getting back on Monday. So that's uh, six days that I'm gonna be able to, to not do this stuff. So I'm really excited about that as well. But the Thrive Convention is always just really exciting. Uh, these videos are at least two weeks behind, so by the time you even see this, we will have already been there and back. So, Okay, it's now a week later. We've been to Salt Lake and back after being out there and all that excitement. Quite frankly, it's hard <laughs> to get back into this again. Anyway, uh, we've been back for two days, and yesterday I was able to get the, r the rest of this sheetrock hung and the first coat of mud on there. So pretty much all of the she rock is done now here in the great room so we can really see what it looks like. It's looking really good. Barry got the, uh, the lights. Last time I, you saw them, I think they were installed, but they were all hanging down. He got them all installed up into the ceiling, so that's looking good. And over here in the kitchen, 
We're having the, the kitchen cabinets custom made by some Amish guy, Barry knows who he is, I don't know. But uh, he's actually supposed to be, he's, he's making them and installing them. He's supposed to be here to install them tomorrow. So we've been scrambling to make sure this is done and ready for the cabinets. Molly got the first coat, coat of primer paint on there yesterday. Today she'll do the second coat, the regular coat of paint on the walls and on the ceiling. So they'll all be all ready to uh, install the cabinets. Um, but that'll be in another video. I would really like to be able to show the installation, but he's Amish, he probably won't want to be on camera. I completely understand and respect that. So anyway, I will show you the cabinets when they come in. So Barry is out here building this deck by himself. I was going to help him, but he told me that, and it makes sense, the sheetrock is so time consuming that he wants me in here continuing to work on the sheetrock and he can handle this. He's built many decks by himself and so have I. <laughs> And I don't mind doing sheetrock, so it kind of works. So I won't have a whole lot of video about building the deck because I'm not doing it. So I just happened to come out here when Barry was on break, but I wanted to show you what he was doing with this deck before I end this video. You see that over here he's got the beam inset from the end of the deck and the joist will run this way. And then over here we've got another one since we're not allowed to attach it to the wall. We've got another one here, he still needs to put the other piece on this side. And it is attached to the wall, but that's just to give it stability. It's this that holds the weight. So we have a, a row of posts there and a row of posts there. He's just about finished with this. Then he'll be able to start running the joists across and put the decking on. So this kind of gives you an idea of the size that this will be. It's a good size party deck. You can fit a picnic table out here and a barbecue and a few chairs. Much better than that narrow one that was here before. So I hope you're enjoying this. I don't know, for me it just seems like it's just endless sheetrock. <laughs> I hope you're not getting tired of watching me do sheetrock. But uh, on to better things. So thanks for watching everybody. Live simple, live free, you be blessed. And we'll see you next time.